Me encuentro con Kevin Robbins, él es referente internacional en el liderazgo creativo y además creador del concepto Love Marks. Kevin, háblanos por favor del papel de la creatividad en el liderazgo. We live in the age of the idea. Ideas are the currency of our generation. So creativity is the most important skill to win in this crazy world that we live in. Ideas and creativity will define the winners and the losers. Y en tu conferencia también nos hablaste de dos diferencias muy importantes en dos conceptos, el de creatividad y el de innovación. Cuéntanos sobre eso. Successful companies need both creativity and innovation. Creativity is the most difficult. It is the starting point. God created the universe and then after that we had many prophets who innovated and make this a brilliant place and many leaders. Innovation is about taking a creative idea and making it work. So innovation is the action step that follows the concept of creativity. I think innovation is more, you can learn it, it's more scientific, it's process. Creativity, you can also learn it, but it comes from the heart and the soul and the spirit. I think it begins with creativity and then we add innovation. En tu conferencia también nos hablaste de los tres baldes, el del incremental, el del transformacional y el del disruptivo. Y nos dijiste por qué el disruptivo hay que saberlo aplicar en un buen momento. So much has been written about change, and there are so many books and so many processes. Change is a constant, and I think it falls into three buckets. Incremental, which is what Toyota called Kaizen, continuous improvement. Transformational, where you look at a part of the business that no one has ever noticed before, and you transform it into something bigger. Disruptive, where you destroy something, and then you construct. It is very sexy now to talk about disruption, but really, most of our growth will come from knowing when to pull which lever, knowing how to pull it and where to pull it. A great CEO must be able to use all three buckets, incremental for most of the business, take no risk, keep making money, transformational, find two or three places you can win, and then disruption, take away the thing that is holding you back, that is slowing you down, that is too expensive, destroy it and replace it. It is a bit like trying to drive a car down the auto route and change the tire at the same time. So it's an art. Y nos diste varios ejemplos de cómo ciertas empresas en el mundo comenzaron siendo disruptivas y hoy solo están siendo transformacionales. ¿Nos puedes hablar de esas empresas? I think there's no question that one of the biggest disruptor or the biggest disruptors have been the technology platforms Uber, which disrupted the whole of the taxi business and turned it into an app, really. Amazon, which disrupted a lot of the physical retailers and turned retail into a online phenomenon. Think about Facebook and Google, who disrupted the way we handle news, right? So I think those have been very disruptive companies. Now, though, most of their innovations are transformational and incremental because the big destruction has been done. Amazon now, they drive all their business with three kind of ideas. Lowest possible price, widest possible range, same day delivery. And they will apply every product category they can into that. That's no longer disruptive. It's almost incremental growth for them. So I think you go through stages and also you go through uh, different parts of the business where you can use a very scalpel-like piece of disruption without disrupting everything. 
Y es real que esta cuarta revolución industrial ha hecho cambios en la forma de hacer el marketing. We now live in a world where traditional marketing is dead. It used to be that the role of marketing was to build a brand, build distribution, attract customers, you know, if you followed Philip Kotler or uh, Peter Drucker. Now the role of marketing is much bigger than that. It is not to build a brand, it is to create a movement that people want to join. So they become the champions of the brand. And in this fourth industrial revolution, we see the merging of the digital and the physical. There is now no line. Everything in our world is virtual, is digital and physical all at the same time. Amazon are now opening retail physical stores. Walmart are now selling things online. So yes, marketing has changed forever so that all those things come together in one whole. Bueno, ¿y qué te parece para concluir esta entrevista? Nos des cinco claves para construir una marca de amor. So, first of all, I found a new love mark yesterday in Cartagena. I am now in love with La Cevicheria. And I think this is a love mark. It has respect, number one. It has respect because we now know it's famous since at least 2008 when Anthony Bourdain lived there. Two, we trust it because everybody on TripAdvisor says how good the ceviche is. Three, it delivers good ceviche at good prices. It is not a expensive experience. So respect, trust, value. Now, Three more things it has. Mystery, sensuality, and intimacy. This is what makes a love mark. It has mystery because I hadn't eaten all of the things. I had these camareros al diabla, and the sauce was so hot, it was so fantastic. I didn't know what was inside it. The, the whole service is very intimate. The waiters are very friendly. The ladies are very friendly. And sensuality, it looked good, it smelled good, it sounded good, it tasted good, and it felt good. So that's how you build a love mark.